Hello guys, Mr. Razor here. Today we're gonna do something special with your phone. Only with the Android phones, I think. I'm not sure if, it, if this works with the iPhones. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to use an emulator in your phone to be able to play all the Nintendo games inside your phone with a controller thingy that is integrated in the emulator. So it it, it is awesome. Just trust me. And uh, in the description there are all the links for everything you need. There is only one link, everything connected into one, so you get everything that I have, I guess, in one link. So, I'll be right back in a few seconds, and I'm going to show you guys how everything works, and hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Okay guys, here we are. The first thing you want to do is go to the internet web browser or whatever you have, Internet Explorer, it doesn't matter. Uh, copy this link. This is in the description. Press enter. There you're gonna be pulled into downloading the ROM file. This is my own, so there is no viruses or anything in this. Um, I've actually put this up on the internet myself, so don't worry about anything like strange. <laughs> um, okay, let's wait 10 seconds. Come on. Ah, oh, it slows down. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. We got the ROM file. The thing I want to do with this is uh, I, I need to connect my phone to, or you you need to connect your phone to some kind of uh, computer with a USB connection. So when you've done that, I'm gonna put my mine in first here. Um, Putting my phone into the jack. There we go. Uh, you can see here it's it, it is connecting to the computer. Go to computer. Start computer. Um, I don't know if this is the same for every phone, but um, it probably is for every Android. Uh, the only thing you need to do is open this, and here you have all the files from the phone. Kind of. Oh, do I need to do my code thingy? Why is there no items? Hmm. What has happened here? <laughs> okay, just one second. I'm gonna put it in again. I don't know what ha what just happened there. Now, no, the, no, it should work. Okay, there we go. Now we have the phone connected. Open up the phone, and then uh, in here you wanna do uh, you wanna do a file. Uh, name or actually you don't need to do that the only thing you need to do is open up this file or the WinRAR file um, you download it from me uh, take this this file right here with all these uh, strange files in the in it uh, then just drag it in to your phone until that's finished then you should ha you should have a map looking like this with all these files in it and that is actually it to get your phone to be able to play like all these games with the emulator and um, I'll be right back with showing you how to navigate in the phone to get everything to work so one second again okay hello guys uh, this is my second try on this <laughs> the first time I was gonna do this I had uh, Swedish subtitles on the phone so that is not good. Okay, the first thing you need to do to um, to find like the the map you made is go to apps and then my files SD card and then scroll down until you find the, the map you made the ROM map. Open up the map and here is all the here is the emulator and here are the games. There's a few like famous games, The uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart, and Super Mario 64. A few games that I love to play. So, um, one thing you need to do to be able to use this map or use the emulator is to enable um, the t is to enable the phone to no <laughs> is to yeah enable the phone to be able to install m apps that aren't from the Play Store or the app store or whatever you want to call it. Uh, to do that, uh, at least on this phone, you drag down the application 
or the notification bar or side, whatever. Um, and then press the settings button. Uh, if you don't have the same way to get to this place, uh, just go into settings and you should probably find it right there. Then go down to security. And here, almost at the bottom, you'll find unknown sources. You need to enable this. It looks like that. And then you need to enable it. OK. And now you can install apps that aren't from the Android market. So when I click on this emulator, it says uh, gives me some kind of option to if I want to install it for storage or internet kind of communication or whatever. You don't need to touch this at all. So just click install. Then it's installing the app. Then you can just open the app. Go down to the ROM map. Open up the ROM. And here are the games. If you want to play a game, let's see. Let's say I want to play Super Mario 64. Opening up 64. This is really cool, guys. Like, yeah, as you can see, this uh, you have the stick right here. The buttons right here, and uh, those yellow buttons on the Nintendo 64 controller. I can't remember uh, where they were, but they were yellow at least. Um, this is the start button, that thing. So if I press that, I get into the game. And um, here, oh, actually, it saved my uh, my game. Okay, so let's go into the game. The this is really good. You see, like, there is no lag or anything. I think you need at least a 1 gigahertz processor to, to play this on your phone. Uh, or a dual core processor, I'm not sure. But uh, this is running really good uh, on a phone. And I really, I really enjoy this. It, it is amazing. Oh, yeah. Pam. Oh, yeah. Mr. Racer playing Super Mario on his phone. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna stop now. Well, um, as you can see, this is running amazingly. The the quality is really good, and you can play all Nintendo games, I think, on this. So yeah, it's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And I guess that is it for the tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below. And uh, maybe if you guys want to see anything else when it comes to Android phone phones, I'm going to try to research it and upload it as fast as I can. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.